Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Beth and I am back again with another video. First of all, hit that subscription button and the notification bell for more content. Welcome back my people. Let's get right into it. I'll be doing a video called seven tips on how to be a better songwriter let me just say I am not there yet and I don't want to toot my own horn but I consider myself a fairly good songwriter or a good songwriter let me say good songwriter because I love my songs like I'll literally write a song and be dancing to it and be like yeah 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 these lyrics hit hit the spots well, I'm not there yet, but I just want to give you a few tips that has helped me in my songwriting process. The first key on how to be, or the first tip on how to be a good songwriter is prayer. As a Christian, I cannot say this enough because you want to write songs about God and then Holy Spirit is not inside your song. Like, you can write a meaningful lyric, you can write a, a song that's like, the lyrics are so good, so powerful, but then it will just be a normal song because the Holy Spirit was not in the song. He did not back you up while you were writing or while you released the song or in the whole writing process. He was not with you while writing it. So, the, so to me, prayer is very important. You cannot replace prayer for... A creative process where you go to an island and sit and just bring out your inner self prayer should be paramount as a songwriter because you cannot remove the Holy Ghost from your songs we're supposed to do life with Christ and we're not supposed to remove him from certain aspects of our lives we're supposed to include God in all aspects of our lives or include our aspect all aspects of our lives into God if you get what I'm saying and also to schedule God into our time we're supposed to schedule our time into God so that's the same thing about our writing process if you put your writing into God like you receive songs that are beautiful and not normal basically as Christians we're not meant to be normal people we are, we are set apart and so we should write songs that are different that when people hear it they are saved so that's the purpose of us creating art in music we're meant to save souls and then we're not supposed to do things without the holy ghost how do you want to save a soul without the holy spirit okay the second tip on how to be a better songwriter is to ask how you feel at the moment the first your first question should be okay how am i feeling what do i want to write about so like okay the thing is basically, okay, am I sad? Do I want to write a sad song? Am I happy? Do I want to write a happy song? Am I in love? Do I want to write a love song? Do, am I feeling so much emotions for God right now that I just want to like burst out in praises for God? What exactly do I want to write? What is my... Basically, write what you are feeling. Don't get ahead of yourself and be like, okay, let me write what I feel people would like rather than what I feel at the moment because when you write what you feel at the moment it's you 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 become happy and you enjoy what you wrote you enjoy your songs for example my song I don't like my neighbors I'm going to set the link put the link so that you be able to watch it later my song I don't like my neighbors right there I was not like liking my neighbors because they were very icky they were very <laughs> But then I now sat and I was like, okay, I don't like my neighbors, but I'm supposed to love my neighbors whether or not I like them, <laughs> whether or not they are the best people in this on the planet Earth. And so I just went to God and I was like, okay, I don't like my neighbors. I was with Kudun's at that time. And then he was like, okay, what do you want to write? I was like, okay, I don't like my neighbors. I'm not supposed to, but. And then that's how I don't like my neighbors came about. So go, go watch it, you enjoy it. The lyrics you write may be the trend people follow. So don't just follow people's trend. Okay, what I, I wrote this down so that I would give me a guideline. Okay, the lyrics you write may be the trend, the new trend. You know, there was this 
there may be a trend presently that is like okay everybody's writing love songs to god in a particular way or everybody's sounding in a particular way everybody's melody is sounding alike but then you're now okay okay i have to i hear this person i want to follow this person and then you now start it's your songs are now kind of a mediocre of another person's song because you are trying to follow a trend where you can be the trendsetter don't just follow what everybody writes enter your own space and find out okay how am i feeling at this moment chandler moore his album feelings like that song that whole album was about his feelings and then you can you can really relate because it was like that was his place that was the place he was at at that moment he was writing the songs Okay, the third key on how to be a better songwriter is learn how to write without the beats. I started when I was writing songs. I don't know how to, I'm learning how to play the keyboard. And you can see some of my bloopers in my previous videos on how I was terrible at playing keyboard. I'm learning how to play the keyboard and I'm not really good at it yet. And I am not a music producer yet. So when I started writing songs, I did not usually have beats to play, to write it, or I did not have a guitar or a keyboard to play with. So I learned how to write without a beat. So I learned how to form my own melodies. I learned how to, I learned how to fit lyrics into my own melodies. And I could say that was mine. And it was like, I did not need an instrument to form something beautiful. Okay, the first key is know your genre and grow. Find your strengths. I'm a lover of soul, jazz, and R&B. So that is what I love, and that is when I started writing my early, my first good songs <laughs> were about were all this kind of giving off a soul Aretha Franklin kind of vibe. And because I liked soul so much, I was right. I was leaning into that aspect more. So know your genre. Know know your sound. Basically, do you sing pop? Do you sing Afro pop? I know I am definitely not Afro pop, though I would try Afro pop sometime. But I know that that is not my genre. So it's it's like that. If I for example, if I am a lover of Afro pop and I know that that is not my sound and I start singing Afro pop songs, it will be a flop. Basically, find your strengths. The next, the next tip, I think this should be number five. The next tip is listen to songs. For example, now I am, I love R&B, so jazz. I would listen to song to songwriters that have written songs in that genre i will listen to those type of songs so that i will learn to grow my art because as a songwriter you're never supposed to remain the same you're supposed to be growing and growing and growing so that you know that the like the next song is better than the last and the next lyric is better than the last where you will keep on writing lyrics that blow your mind and you're like yes I wrote that. <laughs> let your song breathe. This is a huge one for me. But don't let it breathe too long. What, what I mean by let your song breathe is you can write a song but, and then you are like, yes, I've written it. And then you will not let it breathe. You, you just go straight to the studio, go straight and release it instantly. When you should have at least let it breathe and then fix it up. Usually, when I get back to the songs I've written, I find things I want to scrap out. I find things I want to scrap out and things I want to add. Because maybe then I was too much in my feelings and then I wrote too much and it was like, uh -uh. For example, if you're writing a sad song and then you're all about, oh, I'm feeling so sad and this dumb, oh my god, how will I get by? Might, no, 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 and then you are just like so much in your feelings that you're like, I feel like Troy, I feel like the whole world is against me. No, 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 you're writing so much, and then it's just becoming too much. Okay, we get you are sad, 
that's what the audience reaction would be. We get your sad, move on. So you need to like cool it for a bit.